It was well over 25 years ago the Europeans started bettering their passenger rail service, with the Euro cities being notably international, fine dining, uh, multilingual, and having fewer stops, a, a first-class train service. Uh, these were found predominantly in Western Europe, and on the map here you'll see the uh, blue indicates nighttime service, which was separated off. Boy, that sure has changed. The Euro cities now are found predominantly in Central and Eastern Europe, with uh, some of the notable trains like the Orient Express uh, no longer. That's the original one that ran from Paris to Vienna, and the uh, Trans-European Express, including uh, the uh, Etoile du Nord that ran to Amsterdam. And boy, did things change. Here's a detailed, almost too cluttered, a map of almost all the major trains in Europe. Uh, this one's a little bit clearer. Uh, you'll note the uh, purple lines are the highest speeds of all, some more than 300 kilometers, 200 miles an hour. Uh, the red lines being those that are just a bit slower, but still faster than the remaining ones. And they're almost predominantly found in Western Europe. I've inverted the colors of that map to make it a little bit more apparent, with the highest speed trains being in the lightest yellow color. The first probably is the high speed TGV Atlantique route running from Paris to Tours, with the notable exception they didn't test the wind tunnels on the tunnels. Soon after, the uh, Germans, certainly not to be outdone, uh, put in the earliest high-speed route, which is between uh, Stuttgart and Frankfurt. The Paris-Lyon line was the one that really made waves. It was sufficiently long enough and rapid that it actually replaced airplane service. The Italians followed with their early tilting trains, Pendolinos, along the various spine routes eventually connecting the major cities. While not quite as fast, the uh, north-south route in Germany with straight travel connecting eventually Frankfurt to Berlin was notable. The Spanish, after an early slower speed attempt with the Euromed from Barcelona on south, really got into the act using French TGV service and train gauge between Madrid and the then opening of the World's Fair in Seville. The next major phase was from Paris to Lille, and then with Eurostar service on into London, or on to Brussels. Subsequently, the line from Lyon was extended to the Mediterranean, Marseille, Montpellier, with Premier Mitterrand doing the inaugural route. A bit later, the uh, Spanish added uh, German technology uh, from Madrid, partly to Lleida, and then on to Barcelona. With some of the highest speeds in all of Europe, complete with a world record, the French inaugurated their line from Paris to the east, Strasbourg, continuing on to uh, Stuttgart and Frankfurt. The Eurostar to uh, London was made some 50 minutes faster later in the English portion, changing from Waterloo International to St. Pancras. Uh, the Talus service to Brussels was extended to Amsterdam and made faster to Cologne. The highest speed train now in Germany followed thereafter with one hour service directly from uh, Cologne, Frankfurt Airport and Frankfurt Hauptbahnhof. Italian service was later extended and uh, made faster going all the way down to Napoli, Torino and the Pendolinos were replaced with their red and silver aero service. In a similar fashion, the Spanish extended their network from Cordoba to uh, Malaga, from uh, Lleida to uh, Barcelona, and from Madrid to Segovia. And finally, the most notable recent extensions have included a high-speed route from Spain's Santiago de Compostela to Orienza, the uh, high-speed connection from uh, Barcelona to uh, the French border, and a stretch between Nuremberg and Munich, with the most notable being in eastern France between Mulhouse and Bazassan, notably making a very high-speed connection between Lyon and Strasbourg, and more interestingly from Paris to Switzerland.